Stephen, is it windy? It's pretty windy. It's not that bad. So I think this is comparable to Emporia, Kansas. DDO round two, 2022. No, dude, practice round. I got a lot of good memories in that porta potty. Really? Me too. Yeah, the early morning tournaments, you get nervous and stuff happens. I'm talking about the Mexican food I had before. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that too. All right, we're at uh, Jack Brooks Gulf Meadows. Some would say the easier course of the two. What makes it easier? Well, uh, I heard the other one is a pro level. So we got me versus Dylan today. It's going to be a rough day. We got windy conditions. As I said earlier, and I'm on the box first. It looks like you crush it too. Yeah, I go driver here, but it works out well with all the trees in the back of the hole. Um, this hole's about 220. You just want to hit that gap with something overstable that's right there in front of you. You don't want to hit them trees. It looks like Dylan doesn't do that. He uh, sticks with something that goes real stable straight, right? Yeah. He well, yeah, he pulls it a little right. <laughs> It's that tree and gets a bad roll. Oh. But uh roller. He can putt. So he's gonna save his par. But I'm feeling good. I'm close. That's your birdie right there. Well tweet tweet mother I'm not gonna say it. Oh dang dude you... I jinxed it. Yeah. Jinxed oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, this is hole two. Uh looks like a mm. It's kind of the same idea as hole one, but you wanna go high. And it's about 40 feet longer. Yeah, and you got like a, a 20 foot gap on either side. I'm going over. Looks like you're going to high yeah. record. Yeah, just too high, and it's gonna come back a little bit too much. But that should be an easy pitch pitch up for the par. Dylan's trying to hit the gap. Let's see what he does here. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Tough lay. Yeah, this is not where you want to be on your second. And he's just gonna pitch out. Smart move there. Try to save the bogey. Let's see what he does here. Oh, it's windy. It's a windy. Uh, pulls it out. Yeah, that's a putt though. This is my second. Trying to jump it up there. You wanna get close, cause these 15 footers in the wind, they get scary. So I'll take it. Don't try to make this for his bogey. Count it. Good, nice. Yeah, good looking putt under the wind. That's what you want to do. All right, hole three, 337. Crazy tailwind. So I pull out my witness. And you got a very. It's a big gap, but it's a lot smaller whenever you're throwing from back there. Right, and with the wind, it's real difficult because I was expecting that disc to flip a lot. You get that tailwind, it's kind of hard to control where it goes. Mm -hmm. And I think Dylan's throwing a nuke. There was a sidearm. And it's it's, was, it's in the woods. Gosh. Looks like he's forced to do a roller oh, oh here. My God, no, don't oh. Do that. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. So he's got another difficult shot, just trying to get into the fairway. Actually doesn't land in a bad spot. Yeah. Let me get it. And this is my second? In the thick of it. Yeah, tough shot. Matt's in there with me. He's not happy. I'm not happy. Nobody's happy on this hole. I hit a tree, get, just get kicked down, get a really good roll. Nice roll. That's impressive roll. Oh, yeah. I wish I could get rolls like that. Yeah. That's why you're filming. True. Oh, yeah. All right, Dylan in a good spot to save his double bogey. I'm trying to jump this up to save a bogey. And uh, truth be told... Dylan gave me a par on this hole, so we're going by you, Dis, so that's what I put in, uh, but something tells me that stroke's not going to matter, so I guess we'll see down the road. And uh, Tap it in. Oh, yeah. Give a chance. That's a bogey, but Dylan, thanks for the par. All right, looks like we're uh, throwing off of hole four. It's a par three, 200 feet. Uh, it's, it looks easy. <laughs> it's not it's easy. It's not easy. There's so many trees there. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you're really just throwing and praying. That's what I did. And it my, didn't work out. My prayers weren't answered. Yeah. Thanks God. Yeah. It happens. But let's see what, uh, what he does for Dylan here. And he 
kind of gets through a little bit further. Yeah, he's up there in the middle, about 50 feet short. Oh. Oh, he throws it long. Yeah, that's that not was bad though. Way too long. And this wind, that's a layup. Yeah, he's going for his two. He's yeah. just going to get it up there. Oh, there's yeah. And that's way too much wind going on. Yeah, still a bit of a tester right there. I, yeah, I'm just laying that up. I don't want none of that. Oh, you can see the wind in the, in the trees. It's crazy. You can probably hear it too. Oh, yeah. We got that audio working. All right, hole five, two thirty-three on the sign. Um, and for some reason on U disc, it's a par four. So I'm going for the eagle. You heard it here. All right, Dylan. Dylan's box. Yeah, that's right. He got a stroke on the last hole. Gosh dang. He lands in the thick of it. Oh yeah. But it's not a bad spot really if you look at it. Yeah, that's the spot that most people are gonna land a little bit straight, a little long. You want to go pretty overstable on this hole. It's only 2.30. Super, maybe like a mid. And we're going to get our drivers just too far in the rough. Y'all kind of land like right on top of each other too. Yeah, we're right in the same area. I think, yeah, that's Dylan's pitch up. But I have that little gap right there. Ooh, that's nice. But it's, you know, you try to run that and you're going to hit a tree. So I just softly lay it up. Easy bird. Easy birds. Birdie birdie. Yeah. So we'll uh, each drop a stroke right there. Alright, hole six. 349. Is it, is it that one it's a bomb. Right there? First of all, yeah. you gotta deal with a decent amount of wind. Now, is this a par four? No. It's playing as a par three? Yeah, I think. That's so weird. Right. Considering the hole that was before it. I think every hole out here is a par three, but I'm not sure what's going on with hole five. So I got my Avenger SS right here. I think that's a good shot, but I, I can't see what's happening right now. It kind of rolls a little bit. Yeah. So I, I but really. But it comes back. I didn't even see it, but it, I mean, it still ends up in a decent spot because I'll be happy with a par in these conditions. Oh. A little long. That seems to be the the throw for me the last few holes. Yeah, they're not as far as they look. Yeah, you get that that plate shown to the wind and it's gonna fly. And tough putt with some headwind right there for Dylan. I got some tailwind so I just give it a lot and it just goes over. In for the bogey. Those are not easy putts in this wind. Oh yeah. So we're both going to get a bogey right here. And this is hole 7. It's 421 feet. Straight shot. Open field. Oh yeah. And even, uh, even further than the previous hole. It's still par 3. Yeah. It's tough. Most people are happy with a 3 on this hole if you're not a professional. It's a very long par 3. Mm -hmm. Looks Dylan. like Dylan gets it way off to the right into the trees yep. which is not a big deal considering the position that he gets himself in mm -hmm. and that's an Invictus and it's going to be a little short but I'll take it and Dylan's got his Raptor in hand and let's see what he does with it honestly you couldn't have placed it any better oh yeah that just lands perfectly yeah that's a good shot so I'm throwing my jawbreaker zone and sail it. Yeah, just like I've been doing for some reason. Way too long. That's that's gonna be a long par. Yeah, it's gonna have to be a layup. But I run it and it goes a little uh, bit, yeah, it goes a little bit long. It's not your bogey. Yeah, this is uh, Dylan's par. And he takes a bogey too. Yeah. Oh, you take a double. Yeah, I got a double on this hole. So Dylan's going to get a stroke on me with a bogey. Oh, that's tough. So it's Dylan's box, hole eight, 318. A lot shorter than the last two holes. Yeah, yeah, this is a must get, I would say. Tailwind, so you just want to throw something flippy. Kind of get the distance. Give yourself a putt. I want to say that was a nuke for Dylan, but I'm not sure. He goes a little long, so he'll have a headwind putt. 
If you're landing under the basket here, you're doing something right. Oh yeah, that was yeah, Especially that was a really good shot. He put the pressure on me, and I left it pretty short, probably 45, 50 short. I would say yeah. A lot of this wind is coming off of the uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Oh yeah. With that breeze that comes in. Or in Hitchcock, Texas. Oh boy. I'll take it. That's, That's a, a nice. Yeah, that was an important putt right there. Put the pressure on Dylan with this headwind. Ooh, scary business right here. Mm -hmm. His shirt's ripping. He's ripping and tearing, and he sails it. Yeah. Ooh. So this this is a lot easier of a putt right here, and he connects. It's a good putt, good good par. So I get that stroke back. All right, hole nine, two eight one, three three zero. Oh. 8004. What are we, Mike Jones in over here? Yeah. Come on, man. Alright. <laughs> this is actually a tough hole. Oh, yeah. Uh, you gotta get that gap perfect. You gotta put it right through there. Yeah, finding the right stability of your disc for this hole, because I think you have a crosswind, so that's gonna push my wraith over. And Dylan's just not gonna get the turn he was looking for. He's actually gonna get through in a pretty decent spot. Yeah, we're, we're, both, we're both in really good spots. He's gonna pitch up gonna hold that turn so he'll be a little left he'll have a putt I'm just trying to lay this up don't want anything to roll because there's a lot of downhill and that sits nicely you got some love off that root too oh yeah yeah I could have hit that root and rolled didn't want that and that's a good putt for par so we're gonna collect some pars on that hole all right this is hole 10 it's got a 273 foot hole Kind of dog legs off to the left. I'm sorry, they're right. Yep. And you got this real tiny area that you got the basket in. Yeah, this is a real tough birdie to get, especially with this headwind. I'm going pretty stable wraith, and the and the wind flips it over really nicely, but just not enough. So I'll be on that left side. And I don't think I'll have a putt. Oh, forehand flick, looking good. Landed right on top of you. Yeah, we're right next to each other. If you look closely, you can probably see my disc right by his foot. And the splits going. Yeah, Dylan's super flexible. He does a lot of yoga. And I gotta do some sort of sit out, pitch up. I'll uh, take it. Honestly, thought you were gonna hit me there. Yeah, for a second I thought about running it, but it, it's really tight in that area. Actually, mm -hmm. it's not a lot of room at all. Yeah, we saw you back there crouching. You don't mess around when it comes to getting these angles. I know that. All right, what are we on, 11? Yeah, this is 11, 324 feet. It is a bit longer than you think it is because it kicks off way off to the right there. Yeah, and it, uh, at this point, the wind starts swirling, so you don't even know what to throw. And you got a crosswind here. Okay, so yeah, my, the wind's not going to let my disc flip that much, so it pretty much just goes straight. And then just pushes it out. Mm-hmm. So, you gotta really put that hyzer on it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to save that par. Dylan yep. tries to flex it out, and he actually succeeds in it. Well, getting flexed. He goes a lot. He goes pretty straight, so he's about the same distance from the pin as I am. We're both trying to pitch up and take a par. I'm going Z flex zone. Guide at home. Yep. And I think that's close enough. It'll putt. Yeah, oh, I, maybe Dylan was a lot closer than me. No, he definitely was a lot closer than you. You know, now's not the time. Okay, fine. So we both got a longer putt for par than you want. Oh! Just didn't want it. Dylan uh, to get a stroke on me right here. Strong crosswind for this putt? Yeah. Oh, row. Huh. <laughs> Good comebacker, save the bogey, and uh, I'll do the same. Alright, hole 12, 482. This should be a par 4. Are you crazy? <laughs> what are All you right. thinking, you disc? So, yeah, you get a 3 on this hole, and you're feeling good because that's two pretty well placed shots in this win. Alright. I think I go. Yeah, that's a Halo Wraith. Get out there. Some good distance. And Dylan's gonna cook it over to the right. 
Oh yeah, but he gets a, some decent distance. Honestly, though, this hole is kind of set up to where you can go anywhere, really. Right, yeah, there's not too many obstacles or anything. So it's really your game you play here. Yeah. But You're not fighting the, the terrain. Honest, I'm still surprised Dylan went uh, backhand off the tee, but, you know, sometimes you got to play the win. So it's, yeah, we're going to take some pars on this hole, which is weird considering we just both took bogeys on the last hole. And we got another bomber hole. This is hole 13, 458 feet. You got a really good opening here. You got an open field just like the holes before, but where the hole is, it's tucked away in those trees. Yeah, your second shot's going to be your more difficult shot, if you, especially if you don't get into a well-placed first shot landing area. Yeah, you want to really, as long as you're off to the left, you should be fine. Yeah, I'm tucked to the right, so it's kind of tricky. I got to go forehand, and that's just too high. Ooh, and hot. Yeah. Went long. Yeah, no, that's weird. I just didn't keep it low enough. Dylan, thinking going raptor, just kind of turns it over and, whoa. What, was that my feet? It didn't hit you, though. It did not hit me, no. So, and you're still, uh. I had to jump over that thing. Mm -hmm. You're still good with zero disc hits. Kind of looked like a spider monkey doing that. Yeah. And that's going to trickle a little long. Dylan did not get a roll that he wanted. Right. So he'll have a bit of a tough putt for his bogey. I'll have a drop in bogey. And he's got to run this. Oof. Oh, yeah. He is a bit more protected from the wind, though. Yeah, that, that, that was a that solid, area. solid putt. All right, 14, 385. All right, this hole is very similar to the previous hole as to where you just want to land in a good spot and have a real easy second shot if you're playing for the par, like we're doing. So we're just trying to stay out of the woods on the left. And I'm going to push the limits like I didn't want to do. All right, so Dylan's gonna try to match that. Maybe get a little further. Good skip, and he'll be on that edge. I'm actually quite surprised with the distance that he was able to achieve there. Yeah, that was a really good shot. Considering the tailwind that y'all got going on. Mm -hmm. That tree right there, so that's gonna drop me a little bit further than I want for the par putt. And Dylan will be parked for his par. Weak side. Good drop. Good sit. So, Dylan's going to get a stroke on me right there. Not what I needed with only four holes left. Alright, this is hole 15, 279 foot. Straight shot to the basket. All you got to do is just clear those trees. Uh, I think the play here is Heiser. Really? That right side gap. Dylan's going to try to hit it. Kind of pull it too much. Hit that tree. But he's going to get through. Should have just played it straight. That's yeah. But he'll be about 50 feet or so. You get a big bounce into the woods. <laughs> big skip. Almost hits you, but you're, 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 you're pretty quick on your feet. So I try to avoid them. Oh, I don't want to get hit by the thing. Oh, yeah. So I'll have a kind of a weird pitch out for far. Matt went in there with me. So not too much damage done. Uh, we're going to go into 16 with me leading one stroke after a good putt from Dylan. This is actually the last hole that is out of the forest here. We start moving into the forest from 16 on. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's actually quite nice in there, aside from the mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with the, with the little wind, it's nice. This is where you want to make your move. Is that Joey yelling at us? I only made the video like four seconds, so I had to slow it down. All right, uh, 16, 182. It's kind of like a must get. The last thing you want to do is just shank it. It's not a bad shot. Dylan's gonna get some good distance. He's gonna get a good bounce out of this, actually. I don't get it in the camera, but he is in a good position. Oh, it's there. And you just muff it. Oh yeah, too high, bad kick. I gotta pitch it up playing plinko with that tree and it falls out on the wrong side Ooh, tough yep dylan's trying to pitch up take a par because he knows i'm gonna be putting for mine 
And he'll have a putt. So this is the safe par. And that straddle just didn't do me well. Oh, man. Yeah. Going for a stroke. And he doesn't do it either. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Bogey is not what you want on this hole. You must be the guy you're going against this bogey. Is that a yeah. chick monk? Uh, we saw a lot of squirrels out there. So, remember, don't don't feed the local squirrels. Especially those fruit snacks. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, 17. Just a simple hyzer. You kind of want to skip straight. But it is easy to mess this up. Oh, yeah. You got to watch out for that big rock. It'll get in the way. You don't want to land on it either. Oh, I knew it. And no one's going to pull it a little right. And a really good kick. Trees are just going to tuck on them. Mm -hmm. I'm going zone, Z flex. Good skip. Not the best spot to be, though, up against those trees. See how it pans out. Mm -hmm. Dylan actually throws this one a little long, but really good position. Yeah, about 15 feet long. Putt for par. You look like you're crouching there. And that's a tough lay. Oh, yeah. You don't practice those at home. Good putt for par. So I'm going to have to jump up on that rock. Took me a while to get up there. Yeah, get your climbing gear out. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Close match. Joey, I'll give you a break when you stop you whining so it. much. Dude, we get it. Alright, this is hole 18, 276 foot, kind of dog legs off to the right, and you got not a lot of room here. Oh yeah, it's a tight gap, uh, you want to throw your forehand, something over stable. No one's going to push that a little bit too straight, he'll be pinched off, but he should have an easy up and down for par. All right, I'm going Invictus. Yeah. Oh, you fluff it. Right yeah. Into it. Down yeah, that's that's tough. That's jail. And I'll take that. When you get in it, it's kind of hard to get out of it. Yeah, so I'm up there where Dylan's drive is. Not not what I was looking to do. You got lions back there. Yeah, and if, uh, if Dylan gets a stroke on me, then we're getting tied up. So... Dylan's pitching out. Yep. So that kind of gives me a chance to, to get the win right there if he can't make that putt. I thought he would have given us a lot more out of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, kicking the sticks. You know, this, this was before the rule. All right, and this is for the win right here. Can he do it? Oh. oh bounce off the top of the basket. Oh, yeah. that's rough. So uh, Dylan's going to get a bogue. I'm going to get a double. And, uh, That's gonna tie you up. Yeah, we're tied up. I think you're gonna play off. We're going to hole one. Uh, right behind us. It's a playoff squirrel. It's a playoff squirrel. Don't tickle me. All right, and I was going through the UDIS stats for me and Dylan since you know we played many rounds together, probably at least 40. Um, I saw that at least 30, me and Dylan have finished within three strokes of each other. So I thought that was pretty interesting, which, you know, you can kind of see why this game was so close as I putt for my birdie right here. And James. Yeah, that was clutch. Uh, now <laughs> puts the pressure back on Dylan. Let's see if he can uh, put this in, move to hole two. And there's the game. And that's how we get finished. Damn it, Dylan, why'd you do that? You fucking I know, I sort of- pretty clear who Joey was going for. All right, well, that was Jack Brooks, Gulf Meadows. Uh, we'll let you decide if that was a tie. Um, yeah, it's up to the viewers. Don't forget to like and subscribe.